Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to Time Bandit. I think we left you in Antigua. From there we'd gone to Bermuda to see the sights. But it was time to press on because I had another cunning plan. It wasn't a great forecast and our weather guru Chris Parker had said you really need to keep south, head for Norfolk before you turn north. But, you know, we had the plan to meet and the deadlines. So we took more of a rum line and paid the price. We also had the infernal Gulf Stream to deal with. We could either go south about or north about this great big eddy. And in the end we ended up going north round it. Dodging all the ships as we went. Ships of course nines of course. It's a trifle inclement as we Enter the maelstrom that is the Gulf Stream. Oh, she's in her jammies. <laughs> and having another wee cup of tea. It's a bit voiceless, but you can still leave your cup of tea on the table. When we left Bermuda, we knew we were going to get a bit of wind, so we'd put on the variable prop set to 16 knots. After a couple of days though, we weren't getting any power, so up the boat, hung off the back, changed the prop to the 9 knot prop, put it all back in the water, turned around and then realised I hadn't plugged the flipping thing in. So, here we were, doing 12 knots with a 9 knot prop, but it survived. Now it's getting ugly. There's your Force 9 out there. And we're thinking maybe we should go back to the Bahamas. Now, our friend Arthur has just launched his new radio controlled yacht and is currently sailing it in Aubrey Pond in the sunshine. I think maybe we could get a model yacht. Just checking the numbers. <laughs> Top wind speed 40 knots. That's uh, Force 9 by my book. And in the 30,000 miles, that's probably the wildest I think we've had it. At least going to windward. Well, like a kidney stone, the wild weather of yesterday has passed. And now it's a balmy 15 degrees or something. And we're heading for Boston. When in fact, we should be heading for New York. <laughs> so. It was all a bit wild and woolly, and we got a good coating of salt. All we needed was a packet of chips. AIS really is a wonderful thing. Then we saw this. It's like a flock of birds coming towards us. And it's, I think, the Emoka race. And they're marked solo sailor. Never oh, so, it, so they'll all be asleep when they get to us. Not looking. Terrific. Night, night. You can boy. see New York. I think I can see the Statue of Liberty. It is very small. Titanic, if you don't know. Never once to motor when we can sail. We had a lovely beat up the East River into New York. Beautiful day. I'm not in that queue. And just as well, because we had to press on, because we had a flight for the motorbike to catch. So thanks for watching. We are off to British Columbia to recce the waters there on two wheels. So if you liked it, give us a thumbs up, tell all your friends, start an advertising campaign wherever you like. Just keep coming back. Thanks. <laughs>